Hello everyone and welcome to the official launch of the league's new high-octane game, AFL-X. So the first ever AFL-X tournament takes place over three action-packed days, kicking off on February 15 at Adelaide's Hindmarsh Stadium before making its way right here to Etihad Stadium and then on to Sydney's Allianz Stadium. Um, North Melbourne was one of the first clubs to trial AFL-X last year. What did you think when you first played it? Uh, yeah, it was definitely different um, and we used it as a bit of a pre-season sort of training thing so we had a full day where we just played about 10 sort of games of it and um, it was definitely good fitness and it was exciting and um, yeah, all, all types of players were able to adapt to it. How has it been adjusting to the new rules? Uh, they're a little bit different, we, um, even the umpires had a, a tough time <laughs> ad adjusting to them so um, but once we got them down pat, uh, the second time around we played it was, was much better. Now, you're one of North Melbourne's quickest players. Um, I'm assuming this game suits you to a tee, really? Yeah, but it, it does suit other types of players as well. We've got um, big Braden Proust who can kick it about 70 metres. So we put him at full back in one of the games and he was nearly kicking the whole field. So, um, But then there's the tools as well who can take big marks and, and the blokes with good skills. So I think it suits all types. Wes, does it feel a bit like going? Um school carnival almost like is it bringing back the footy the fun to footy in, in a sense this kind of concept uh yeah i guess we don't really know what to expect to be honest but um here today seeing the the carnival acts out there uh, it is a bit exciting to see see what they come up with on game day yeah definitely what's been the biggest challenge when you've done the training um oh, probably the amount of running because it is very up and back there's barely any stop start usually if you kick a goal you'll get a rest and come back to the center square but um, as soon as the goal's kicked, the other team's bringing it back in, so there's like definitely no rest, so we'll need those interchanges. Is the concept going to benefit the season proper, do you think? You can see the parallels there. Um, oh, maybe with the skills. I mean, you'll be with AFL Lex, you'll probably be going for more attacking kicks and kicks up the middle, so um, if teams want to try and translate that into, into the regular season, then I see that would definitely benefit, yeah. Sean, are you a fan of um, AFL Lex potentially becoming a state of origin yeah. type of position? Yeah, I think we need to see how AFLX goes first and then uh, and then worry about that. But I'm a fan of State of Origin as well. And um, like Victorians and Western Australians and everyone around Australia, I suppose, um, like to see that State of Origin stuff, I think. Is that how it was originally sold to you a bit as well, that there is that potential for State of Origin down the track? Um, oh, no, that, I haven't heard of that, uh, to be honest. But, um, yeah, we've, we've been just told about the AFLX and... Um, the new format of it, so uh, I think everyone, especially our club's really excited to, to have a crack at it. When a lot of us talk about um, AFLX amongst ourselves, it's always just you wouldn't want to see somebody get injured. Do you say it's the same in club level, in club land? Yeah, oh, I think that's what everyone thinks, but I mean, we if we didn't have AFLX, it'd just be another pre-season game, so it'd be pretty similar to the last year's, but um, yeah, you definitely don't want to see any injuries, but we got our club physios and doctors in place, so I think we'll hopefully be OK. What's been the hardest rule to adjust to? You mentioned just before that the umpires maybe struggled the first game and picked up the second game. What have you found the most difficult to adhere to? Um, yeah, probably the one where it's just play on from the a goal kicked. So we definitely found that the hardest. There was a lot of boys uh, needing some water after that. But, um, yeah, the, the quick play is probably the one, that, the one change for us that was massive.